is another home projects video. This paint is special for outdoors for more of a concrete. Um, you can get at the Home Depot. This is just a sample. They actually do sell in small containers if you don't need a lot. Then I have disposable gloves and these brushes are from Michael store. I got them on sale. They were actually in the clearance aisle. And then of course you need some uh, water. This is just a cold water. I'll show you at the end what is the purpose for it. Protect your hands, of course. Just put some gloves on. And of course, you've got to mix that paint. I mean, I know it's just a one tone paint, just a black one, but you still got to kind of mix it in. So I'm just shaking it here very, very hard so I can mix all of that paint together. And if by any chance you make a mistake, just grab a Lysol and it does remove stains easily. Our house is facing more south, so the sun is always more towards the front of the house. Now you can see why the number is almost disappearing. <laughs> and to me, it seems like it's just never been touched up. It does require a lot of patience here. And the paint itself is kind of thick too. Kind of hard to tell if you applied enough of paint or it will drip later. So I was trying to apply a thin layer and then let it dry and then reapply just to see if that's enough. <laughs> three times so the total three coats in in order to make the number more like dark and visible and I think it will be good for another few years and I still have a lot of paint left in this small container enough for a whole neighborhood showed you is just to put your brushes in so while you're waiting on the number to dry a little bit just between coats so I was putting those brushes in the water so they won't dry out I think it looks so much better now you to share these weird little creatures I mean I don't know it's just insects flies or whatever you call them I call them just the weird creatures they're they're loud you can hear them and they're harmless well that's what internet says like they're harmless they don't bite and we actually found one on our tree and I mean to me they do look scary I mean I wouldn't touch them but they make this very interesting noise and that noise it's actually nice i mean you don't get tired of hearing it it's almost like a musical outside 
so it's it is enjoyable it's actually relaxing and enjoyable it's loud you can hear it but it's not bad and they're they're huge they're like maybe like about two inches maybe more um they do fly and i mean they kind of scary but they actually harmless so that's it for today's video thank you for watching and we will see you in the next videos bye that's a big bug